Hi guys, hope you all are doing well. You are watching Technofy's YouTube channel. Did you know Porsche company made tanks in World War II from Nazi regime? In this video, we are going to show you the evolution of the Porsche company from tanks to supercars. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Porsche is best known for its 911 and other sports cars, although the company likes to reference its history with a German commercial highlighting an old Porsche tractor, products made during the 1930s and 1940s are left alone. During the Nazi regime, company founder Ferdinand Porsche designed cars for the Nazis like the Volkswagen Beetle and the Cuban Wagon Light military transport. Porsche was also a pioneer in hybrid technology, which he was keen to put to use in German armored fighting vehicles like tanks and tank destroyers. During World World War II, Volkswagen production turned to the military version of the Volkswagen Beetle, the Cuba Wagon 52,000 produced and Schwinn Wagon 15,584 produced. Porsche produced several designs for heavy tanks during the war, losing out to Angel and Son in both contracts that ultimately led to the Tiger I and the Tiger II. However, not all this work was wasted, as the chassis Porsche designed for the Tiger I was used as the base for the Elephant Tank Destroyer. Porsche also developed the mouse super heavy tank in the closing stage of the war. Ferdinand Porsche's biographer Fabian Muller wrote that Porsche had thousands of people forcibly brought to work at their factories during the war. The workers wore the letter P on their clothes at all times. It is true not for Porsche, but for Poland. Porsche was inducted into the International Motorsports Hall of Fame in 1996 and was named the Car Engineer of the Century in 1999. He was a recipient of the German National Prize for Art and Science, the SS Aero Ring, and the War Merit Cross. But these days we know Porsche with its fast and amazing supercars and their unique designs and powerful engines. Personally I love them especially the 911 Turbo S model and Porsche have a lot of fans all around the world. Let's take a look at Porsche's fastest supercars. Thanks for watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe our channel and leave a comment below.